Hello beer fans, um, Northern Brewer here, uh, UK. <coughs> Today I'm going to be making Brew Firm's Framboose beer. It's a 5.5% Belgian beer, makes 12 litres. Uh, it's not as strong as some of the Belgian beers I've had, um, which have come in at 7, 8, 9, 10%, but it should be a nice summer aperitif. Um, never made it before, like I say, let's see how it goes. First things first though, we need to do a bit of sanitising. So before you can start brewing, it's uh, important to sanitise your, your equi equipment. Um, on my last batch, I uh, cleaned out the bucket using hot and soapy water to get rid of most of the scum that was left around the, uh, the edge here. Uh, and then rinsed out with some steriliser. <coughs> Um, but today, just to make sure everything's nice and clean, I'm going to sterilise everything again. And to do that, I'm going to put in Young's sterilising cleaner around a couple of uh, five, a couple of teaspoons should do it. And you top up to about here. Also, you don't need to fill it all up with warm water. Give it a swell. So as I say. And you put in the solution and then you just turn the barrel the best you can. Can be a bit fiddly. And you just coat the sides with the solution. And as long as it contacts uh, with the sides of the bucket, the solution will work. Uh, and you repeat this step for, uh, I don't know, perhaps for 10 seconds every minute for 10 minutes and uh, once you've done just rinse empty out the contents and then rinse the lid and inside the bucket fully in warm water and then leave to dry so after i've done my sanitization i'm ready to brew now so uh, i've opened up my can and in there you get a packet of yeast the instructions uh, and for this particular beer Ask for a kilo of sugar and um, sometimes you can use light malt extract which I've done in my previous video uh, but this time I'm just going to use a kilo of brewing sugar and um, following some advice online and um, candied sugar is ideal for Belgian beers but I've just got standard brewing sugar so uh, first things up I'm going to pop this in a, in a saucepan with water heat that up um, to a simmer and leave it for 10 minutes till the contents start to soften and uh, liquefy and make it easier for pouring. Um, so in my previous brew um, I used Tesco still water and I thought the beer was uh, quite good and therefore I'm going to use it again and as it only makes 12 litres uh, I bought three six packs of 500ml still water which I can use uh, when bottling, uh, you know, obviously people prefer to use glass, but mine doesn't last long enough to warrant uh, using glass, so it makes a economic sense just to have uh, refill these with the beer and have uh, half a litre per serving. And I've opened them all up, put the caps on the side, obviously, just to make it easier for when I need to fill the fermenter with the water. Um, my can's bubbling away there as we can see I might just turn that down a fraction it's almost on the boil um, I've emptied my stuff and just put it on the lid there so it's not in contact with anything untoward um, interestingly the can asked me to uh, add, the, add it first to the fermenter then water and sugar but on past experience I think it's important to add the sugar to the water first uh, before pouring on the kit so that's what I'm going to do so for brew firm beers uh, they've asked for a yeast starter so to do that I've sanitized the glass and put in some warm water and I'm just waiting for 25 degrees to be reached and um, once that has, I'll stir in the contents of the yeast and leave for 15 minutes. Uh, so I emptied the can into the fermenting bucket and I've been filling it up with the uh, water bottles. 
it's about 12 litres needed and I reckon there's about another litre to go um, but I'm thinking about making it a little bit stronger I'm just leaving it at the 11 litre mark uh, the yeast starter is uh, working its magic it says to leave it for about a quarter of an hour it's been about 6 or 7 minutes so far uh, once that's complete I'll uh, lob it in here and then uh, I'll put the airlock on, bit of water, seal it up <coughs> and then it needs to be kept warm so um, I've got this box that I took from work and I'm going to dump it in there and surround it with all this bubble wrap uh, to try and keep it as warm as possible and uh, hopefully it will be done and fermented within 10 days and the gravity should be about 1.010 when it's complete um, so I'll, I'll just keep testing after about a week until I get to that point and then ready for bottling. Cheers.